Hello and welcome back to the Schmuseum. Now this video right here is going to be the start of another one of these weeks where we don't really know what's going on necessarily. There's a few things on the agenda and no doubt a few things that are going to crop up that we don't know about. So we'll be taking you behind the scenes once again on just some of the movements that happen here at the Schmuseum. Now one thing that needs to be addressed this week is to do with the SLS AMG Black Series. And yes, we do still have some cheap car covers on the master dust is still settling. They will be replaced with proper ones soon. But if we come round, the wheels on this, as you know, when Tim did the respray in Mystic Blue, he also had the wheels done in silver. Now over time, they've taken a bit of a battering, they've got some lacquer peel, and they just don't look very tidy, especially on a car of this caliber. So we'll be dropping this over to the guys at Whoops, who will be rectifying those back into their silver finish, maybe with a special little touch. So stay tuned for that one. Also, turns out Tim has left a set of GTC4 Lusso wheels at the Ferrari dealership when they were swapped over. I believe they're the winter set for it. So we'll be going to pick those up and then getting them back here and deciding what do we do with those? Do we maybe make a display item out of them? Do we hang them up somewhere? Or given it's a functional set of wheels and tires, do we sell them on for someone else to enjoy them. But first up this week, one thing that we know is happening is to do with the Aston Martin Vantage Roadster, which is actually now due for its first MOT back in Tim's ownership. So we'll be getting that dropped to the garage to get that done. As we've discussed before, it's just an annual test just to make sure all is well. So let's jump in, get that over to the garage and see what else happens. Now, speaking of dropping cars to whoops, I think next on the agenda is probably going to have to be this as well. As part of the restoration of this car, these wheels have definitely seen some life in their previous ownerships whilst it's been out of Tim's hands. So we'll need to get those refurbed at some point, I suspect in their original finish, but just to bring them up to standard as well as the rest of the car when we fully go through it and give it the restoration it deserves. <laughs> We're here, we've made it with the V8 Vantage Roadster, ready to get its MOT done, which is actually gonna be done really, really soon, thanks to the guys down here at Godleman's. And we will be coming to pick that up either later on today or tomorrow, it just depends on how timing and the rest of the day goes. But when we're back here, we'll catch up with that. Now let's see what's next on the agenda. And just like that, we are back with the V8 Vantage Roadster. The guys were able to squeeze it in this afternoon for us so we could pick it up the same day. So now I think it's time to get this back, get it parked up, and see which one of the tasks we're gonna go and deal with next. We'll see you there. All right, I think that will do. That is perfect. Is this your first time moving this? I think second. Second, how, how do you find the old school automated manual? It's very old school. It's very lurchy, I think is a nice way to put it. There's, there's no real creep, is there? No, not really. It, but... it's, it's clutch on or clutch off and it's very cool though. Yeah, it's, it's cool. a gorgeous car. I do, yeah, yeah. It, it really is a lovely colour scheme. Anyway, <laughs> Brad's bored of me. I guess we'll leave that there. Next up on the agenda then is the SLS. We need to drop this over to the guys at Whoops to have the wheels refurbed. Tom's got the key and I think it's time for another cold start. And this is a good one. It is a very good one. So we'll let Tom jump in and hear this in all its glory. get the shutter up. Hopefully by that time, point, Tom will be over and uh, we can get straight on the road, over to Whoops, and get the wheels refurbed. We've been greeted by some rather miserable weather. We've just arrived down at Whoops in the SLS. Definitely not the right choice of car for this kind of weather, but we are here, all was fine. Just gonna pull it in. Quite a tricky car to manoeuvre, left hand drive, very wide, but we'll get it inside, let the guys have a look at the wheels, we'll discuss our plans for them. Pretty much will be similar silver as we have now, but we're thinking a little unique touch, just to make it a bit more unique for Tim, which is cool. Fortunately, this isn't a surprise, like it was with the C63 Black Series wheels. Uh, Tim knows exactly what's going on with these and, and has a plan basically for them. 
of what he's after. Every time we come down here, we seem to make a scene. It seems like every single guy that's meant to be working comes running over. Here's another. Everyone comes running over, they love it. I think we've caused a bit of a storm and once again stopped the guys at Whoops doing any work for I've a period of time. literally just said it. We, every time we come here, we distract them. It's shut down, yeah, but again, who wouldn't want to take a look at the lovely SLS? It's a gorgeous car, especially in that colour. So I'm sure Brad's already said we're going to discuss what we're going to do with the wheels, try and pick out an exact silver that we're going to go for, and then leave this here for the guys to get them done. So we will see you in a moment. It's a new day and we have a couple of new Schmiemann builds added to the collection down here at this museum. First off is this T1 camper, basically going to be used for storage, it's like a little pop-up tent that Tom thought was quite cool and brought back. The other, which you should have already seen in our previous video, is under the cover here. The Lamborghini Huracan STO finished in the outrageous Viola Bast. Just pull this up. That colour is just insane. Also wearing summer plates, as you would have seen in the last video, but that's here as well. Now, on the agenda for today, we are going to pop back over to Whoops to have a little look at the SLS wheels, just see what the progress is with them. Also going to grab some lunch, but the big thing we need to figure out is what car do we take? The GC8, again, they're undercover, so it's quite hard to see what's what, but the GC8 is a contender as I've never been out in it, so we're thinking maybe we take that out. We could take the C63, which is parked in what will hopefully be sort of a halo space, a place to show off certain cars. That's only over here because I think Tim took it out over the weekend and got it a little bit dirty. Took it out for a bit of a blast. Let's have a little look. There we go. Bit of dirt and road grime. Oh wow, here we go, right on the back. Lots of road grime splattered up it. So we're thinking possibly this to save getting anything else dirty but we've got a decision to make, so you'll find out very shortly, I'm sure with a cold start, what we're taking. Well, as you can see, and here, we've chosen the C63 Black Series to go out in, but there is a reason. There is, which I, I looked outside and I was pretty set on taking the GTA because I absolutely adore that thing. You've never been in it, and that's a good enough excuse to go and grab some lunch as far as I'm concerned. Of course. But looking outside at the barn, the clouds were looking quite dark overhead. And they're not too bad now, but there is quite they're a lot not, of them. Which is really annoying because it's, it's always the way, isn't it? I purposely left it behind because the weather looked a bit grim and like it was going to start raining. And now we're on the way to Whoops and we've got bright blue skies and lovely clear clouds and actually it looks like it would have been the perfect car to bring. But still, it's always lovely getting back in the C63. We always love this engine and the noises that it makes. And I'm never ever ever going to complain about having to spend some time. Yeah, it just doesn't this. get old, does it? It does not get old. It never does. It's such a glorious noise. It's so childish, it's so fun. And it just reminds me of when cars used to make really loud noises just like this, you know, with modern turbocharging. Things like, you know, the AMG GT Black Series. As phenomenal a car as it is, it can't be what this could do in terms of noise and just the sensations that it gives your ears. So, I think mean, we're going to crack on to Whoops, give them a little surprise visit. They don't know we're coming, but we're just going to go and see where they're at with the wheels um, and they should be ready for later on today or tomorrow I think and then we'll be bringing the SLS back so we'll get some lovely or more lovely 6.2 noises when we're back in that. We have just decided to stop and grab the boys a dozen donuts because we're always dropping in on them and dropping wheels off and they're getting them done in ridiculous turnarounds. We're also disturbing us. them every time we turn up. We do also disturb them every time we turn up because usually we take a car they haven't seen before, which is a good thing of bringing this, but usually we take a car they haven't seen before and everyone is outside around the car taking photos, videos, crowding around it, and then everyone else's wheels are not being refurbed. So I think it's only right we grab some donuts and just bring the guys a mid-afternoon a mid snack. Something to say thank you. Yes, just something to show our appreciation. So we're going to grab these and we'll see you at Whoops in a second. It's that same beer road. It is. Shall we see if we can announce our arrival? 
think we do every time we turn up here. Yeah. Back at Whoops will fix it. They must. Do they hate us yet? Do they hate us yet? <laughs> right, let's go inside Turlo and let's check on the progress of the wheels. The donuts are out. Tony drove one straight away. I think we've all dived straight in. Once again, work has stopped, as you can see, is always the case. <laughs> I'm sorry we always do this to you, Simon. Mate, don't worry about um, it. Later. We're going to finish these and then we'll take a sneaky look at the wheels. We are here now with the wheels for the SLS Black Series. As you can see, Tony's just laid down the first coat of black primer before they're going to go and have the silver, the lacquer, and then the satin degloss applied to them, as you would have seen in more detail in the C63 video. Now, do apologise if you can't really hear me at the moment. We have forgotten the mics just for this quick visit down here, and it is obviously pretty noisy with all the equipment here. But they should be finished up later on today or first thing tomorrow, and then we'll come and pick the car back up, and you'll join us for that. We'll probably be some more in between, but you join us for that when we're delayed. We're just about to leave the guys here at Whoops to crack on with the SLS wheels, as well as all of the other wheels they've got to uh, get done here. But just before we do, I could not stop and admire the E60 BMW M5, the legendary V10 saloon car, and also available in a touring format, an estate, a wagon, which I think is definitely the one I and Brad would have. Yes, I thought so. So, uh, Maybe one day we can get one of those in this museum as a team car or something along them lines. We'll have to see if we can convince Tim. But let's jump back in the C63, head back to the museum and see what the rest of the day holds. It's the next day and we are out. We're out in the G63, Tom, Tim and myself, and Tony's on his way with the trailer because we are down at Chartwell. And I'm sure you guys know what that means, but we're picking up a car that was once sat in black that's now solar beam yellow. And if I spin around here, I'm not gonna show you it fully, I'm just going to zoom in enough and give you guys a little sneak peek. Where are we? There's a little bit of the door, little bit of the front. And I think that's all you guys need to see for now. So a little bit later, we'll obviously show you the full car, but you will have seen it in yesterday's video either way. But we're going behind the scenes today, pretty much. Behind the scenes of collecting the GT Black Series. There's a few other things to do. Obviously, the SLS is pretty much ready. Uh, we've been sent a few photos of the wheels, so we'll be heading down there later to collect that. But for now, I'm gonna head back inside the chart where we'll get a few little behind the scenes clip of Tim filming for the Shmi channel, and we will see where we go from there. Look who has arrived. Turbo Transport is here. Here he is. Tony, good to see you. Right. Morning, it's not the morning anymore. Morning. Well, I don't Actually. think it is anyway. Well, it is. So you've just told me and Tom that you have a present for Tim because you haven't seen him since his birthday. I haven't seen him since his birthday and I haven't seen you guys since you hit 100k on the museum. So for his birthday and because he's been such a big help to me, I bought him a birthday present. Okay, so should we have a look at what you've got? So in this box is an electric car cover. It's by CX who have helped me out with a logo on the cover and it's an electric cover, press of a button, it reveals the system. Wicked, so that'll be an automatic way to uncover any of the cars, basically. Cool, so I think we need to, do we leave that in here? Do we get Tim to come out? Do we bring it inside? I wanna sort of see if, see if we can do a way that we can surprise him either here or at this museum. Because obviously what these guys know is that inside Chartwell is the GT Black Series, it's now yellow. So we need to obviously unveil that. So maybe we could try and use that to unveil the car here. Yeah. Good idea. Cool, well let's get this out and we'll go and surprise Tim with it and hopefully catch his reaction and then we can uh, reveal the GC Black Series as well to you guys. Tim was inside filming stories. Tom's joined us as well outside. You know something's happening. There's quite a smile on his face. Hang on, okay. hang on. Why, why am I holding the box? Because it's, it's, your, it's your gift. <laughs> I'll follow you guys in. <laughs> why am I holding it? You bought it. we we'll head inside. I have no idea what you very suspicious guys are up to. We're not being that suspicious. We're not suspicious. We're not that we have suspicious. a gift. Well, Tony has a gift. Can just clear a bit of space here? Very briefly. <laughs> you have somewhere to pop your, you your item down. Because I haven't seen you in a while, this is your oh, birthday present. Air Shroud, I know what's inside and, that. Uh, your congratulations on 100k on this museum. That's cool. And because you've been such a big support with me, this is my gift to you. That's very kind of you, Tony. It's good. <laughs> We're going to have to open it fully up to see I won't, what... I won't say what's on the cover, but it's yours. 
This is very, very kind of you. Is it a nice kind of, is it like personalized? It's, it's personalized as well. You will find out soon you enough. You will find out. Is there like a picture of what it looks like or do we need to get it all the way out? It's a picture yeah. of your face. No, I don't <laughs> that's, it might that's be the next one. Let's <laughs> <laughs> open. I don't quite understand. I feel like we have to put it on the floor to... Yeah, yeah. it's all automated. I feel like automatic. we should put it straight over the black series. That's cool. Now we've got a proper reveal when we have stuff in the garage. Yeah. Very kind of you, Tony. Thank you very much. Here it is then. Now you would have seen this in yesterday's video on the Shmi 150 channel. But the GT Black Series is complete, well, almost complete. Tim would have mentioned that there's a few badges on the side of the car and a few other places that obviously haven't been put on yet, mainly due to this is going off the Topaz to have PPF done. But how good does this look? Really good to see the contrast between the carbon on the bonnet with the solar beam. It looks insane. And obviously then if we come around to the rear with the ginormous wing, this looks so cool. I have to say, as soon as it comes out into natural light, it, it completely changes all over again. It's absolutely stunning. That's one cool car. Yes. <laughs> if I can say so myself. Yeah. You can definitely say so. And I think like what we were saying previously about the bits of carbon, they're no longer hidden. The contrast is so visible now. Whereas before, a lot of that detail was hidden with the, uh, with the Magno black paintwork against the carbon. You, it, it was just lost, whereas now it, I think the aggression is actually a lot more, you know, I know a lot of people thought the aggression was going to be lost taking it from black to yellow, but actually I think it's increased. Next up then is to load the GT Black Series into the trailer, which is already and set up. Tony did that earlier and the car obviously is just over here. A bit of behind the scenes for you, Tim is setting up to film a clip for the Shmi video, which obviously you would have seen. But yeah, it's time to get that in and then this is heading straight to Topaz. Yeah. And then me and Tom are heading over to Whoops to pick up the SLS and meeting Tim and Tony over at Topaz. So, a few different things going on, which make for a nice, busy day. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? We are. We are just arriving back at Whoops to collect the SLS. If anyone wondering, Tim is in the back, then that's who the voice was. Not a, not a random voice from the back seat of the G. I'm like the kid who's been in the back of the car for too long. I would yes. show you, but I can't really turn around that easily. Before you're sitting. But you have to believe us, Tim is there. He is in the back. In fairness, I think they've seen him get in the back of his own cars more not often than much. not on this channel. So Can we, we will go in and find it. Okay, oh. we don't need to find the SLS. There it is. This is the first time for me seeing what this is going to look like. Yes, because you haven't really got an idea of what we've done with these yet. It's a bit of a surprise on these wheels as well. It seems to be a thing with wheels and surprising you, so. Let's go. Yeah, let's go and have a look. Right, we've got to be talk loudly again. We haven't got the mics on, but this is going to be Tim's reaction to the wheels for the first time. So I, should, I should probably come around to that side. You probably should. <laughs> yes, that's good. That's good. So that's a match to the, pe the filler cap. We'll give you guys a good look as well. So we've gone for Mercury Chrome in a satin finish and the little unique touch is the Mystic Blue in the AMG badge. They look really Those nice, really nice. Those are really good. They were also super chipped up. I mean, you probably said this already, the miles I did with the car. They needed to be made pretty again and they look very pretty. That's a solid result. We actually went back and forth with the guys a little bit on whether we go satin or a gloss finish. And I mean, I think we have nailed it. It's really quite a machine to it. Yes. You know, it's not like matte. It's no. not. Well, it's a, it's a mercury chrome silver yeah. with the matte finish. So I think it gives Somewhere that good the balance of, of both. Yeah. Not gonna lie, guys. You, you made the good choices. That looks awesome. It's really nice. Well done. Thank you very much. That looks wicked. I'm very pleased. Tim's very pleased. So we're going to go and say, Hello to the guys at Wolf. We haven't actually seen them just yet. We've just focused straight. We've run in and gone SLS. But yes. So just let's walk out and have a look at the whole thing, really, because yes. close up's one thing, but seeing it as it is, it's so much better. Agreed. Agreed. It, it looks very fitting of a Black Series now, I think, and yeah, much nicer than before. Following the SLS in traffic. It just looks so glorious. I mean, we're about to lose it in this merge. You can just about see it, but oh, we'll have to try and catch them in a minute when we can get next to it. Just about. 
there we go. We can get alongside him now. We've got a bit of wind going on. Let's pull the windows up a bit. Oh, wow, oh that's, that's a noise. Mess, that's noise as well. That How so good. good does that look that on is the moon? That is amazing. It turns out the sound system in here is really good. I can imagine. <laughs> and I'm tight. Do we listen to music or listen to the car? Yeah, we're just listening to the cars. We have arrived down at Topaz with the SLS, with the G, and Tony's here waiting for us with his trailer and with the GT Black Series inside. This thing looks glorious in solar beam yellow. So next thing is to get this unloaded, swap it with the SLS, which is going to have a few sensors changed over down at Avant Garde. And then the GT can be dropped into Topaz ready for its PPF. This is quite a moment. It's actually the first time that the GT Black Series and the SLS Black Series have been side by side with the G63 behind just for fun. The first time the two repainted AMGs, which is quite bold when it comes to these things. Solar Beam and Mystic Blue. It'd be lovely to have the sun out on them, but it's quite a cool moment. I think it's fair to say. <laughs> I was planning this for a long time, <laughs> and now they're sat here together. Next up then is the SLS. Get this into Tony's trailer. Well, very shortly. I think Tony's got a few things to sort out before that goes in, and then this can gets on the road as well, and we can head back over to the Schmuseum. And in it goes. Time to get this one loaded up. It's a nice slow process, obviously. But Tony knows what he's doing. He's done enough of Tim's cars to know how it goes. I'll come around here, here it is. Look at those wheels. It's a new day here at the Museum. The SLS is on its way to a vanguard with Tony from Turbo Transport. And the G-Wagon has just been left here because Tim took this home last night. What with that and the journey we did in it, collecting the SLS and going all the way up to Chartwell and back to collect the GT Black Series, this has got a bit dirty, so that's been left there to be cleaned. But if you guys come over here, you'll see we've actually got a guest here in the Schmuseum, currently sat under a cover from Air Shroud that was provided by Tony from Turbo Transport as a present for Tim's birthday with the custom Schmee 150 logo. But see if you guys can work out what that is, and when Tim gets back in a little while, we'll pull the cover off and see if he got it right. I'm back here then, so we're gonna take a look at the car I think Tom has just shown you that we've got here in the garage at the moment. Now this belongs to a friend over in the USA who has just purchased it here in the UK. It's actually a US car and it's gonna be heading over there soon. But in the meantime, it is here at the Museum. Let's have a bit of a reveal then of exactly what is under this cover, an absolutely stunning 1968 Porsche 911 L. This car has only done 4,000 miles. It is totally immaculate, and it is the first visiting car that is gonna spend a night here at the Museum, which is quite fun as well. Beautiful green paintwork. Come and have a look, actually, inside this. A masterpiece. What a lovely, lovely thing. And it certainly makes me think there is quite an appeal to adding a classic of sorts here to the garage. So back in 1968, from my understanding, the 911L, the L either stands for Lux or Late. They made 499 of them for one production model year only. US spec, hence the orange reflectors, the amber indicators that you have around it. 130 horsepower, a little bit more than standard. Slight modifications to the engine, powertrain side of things, but just very small, smaller than the Yaris. That's one of the things you notice when you have something like that here in the garage. But this has, of course, been our first visitor in a bit of a vlog today from here at the Museum with the guys getting a number of things done, the SLS amongst others, and I suppose a bit of a catch up also with the GT Black Series. That's it for now. Hope you've enjoyed this vlog at the Museum. Until next time.